I'm Dr. Florian Ernst. I work in the Department of Rheumatology at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Today I'm going to be speaking about inflammatory myopathies. There are three main kinds that we see. The first major kind is dermatomyositis. It affects primarily the muscles as well as the skin. It is an autoimmune disease. That means that we are not sure about what causes the disease. There are many triggers, some that we have identified and some that we have not yet. Some of the major triggers include ultraviolet light, certain drugs, toxins, and certain infections such as viral infections. Dermatomyositis usually presents with a rash, typically involving the face, as well as the chest, and then the hands and the wrist. Usually the rash is worse in the sunlight. In addition, people may start to feel weaker than usual. They may have trouble getting up out of a chair or carrying heavy bags of groceries. These are typical symptoms of dermatomyositis. Dermatomyositis affects primarily, again, the skin and the muscles. Other organs, however, may be affected as well. For instance, dermatomyositis may affect the lungs and cause difficulty with breathing. It may also affect the heart. Those are less common manifestations of dermatomyositis. In order to diagnose dermatomyositis, typically we rely on how you appear to us. There is a characteristic rash of dermatomyositis. In addition, you may have elevation in your muscle enzymes in the blood. You may be weak to us when we test your strength on examination. We will also order several other tests such as an EMG and also a muscle biopsy if needed. Occasionally, we don't have to rely on a muscle biopsy to make the diagnosis. The second major type of inflammatory myopathy is polymyositis. Polymyositis is a myositis without the rash. It also is an autoimmune disease affecting the muscles in that it causes weakness. So you may have difficulty with getting out of a chair or carrying heavy bags of groceries. Polymyositis is diagnosed by how you present to us. You may be weak to us on examination, and you may have elevations in your muscle enzymes. We typically rely on other diagnostic tests such as an EMG and a muscle biopsy. The third major kind of inflammatory myopathy is inclusion body myositis. This is a distinct myositis that affects patients generally over age 50. There is a male predominance. You might present with difficulty with use of your muscles, not only the muscles of your shoulders or your hips, but also the muscles of your hands and your wrists. We have to also rely on further diagnostic tests to make a diagnosis, such as muscle enzyme elevation, EMGs, and muscle biopsy. The treatment for all three is commonly prednisone. We use prednisone to suppress the inflammation. The goal of our treatment is to put the disease into remission so that you can function uh, without any limitations during your daily life. Other medications we use in addition to prednisone include what we call steroid sparing agents. These are commonly methotrexate, azathioprine, and mycophenolate mofetil. We typically choose the one that will agree best with you based on side effect profile and drug interactions. These medications function to take the place of prednisone so that over time you are only on one of those three medications to keep, maintain your disease so that it is in remission. The long-term prognosis of dermatomyositis and polymyositis is favorable with adequate treatment. You will expect to live a normal, healthy life, 
provided that you tolerate the medications and you don't have any of the uh, less common manifestations such as pulmonary or cardiac involvement. However, the long-term outlook of inclusion body myositis generally varies, but typically what we see is that you may have progressive weakness in your muscles. Over time, the inclusion body myositis may not be as responsive to immune suppression. You may develop problems with swallowing, problems with walking, and ultimately have to rely on assistive devices such as a cane, a walker, or even a wheelchair.